I didn't know it was gonna be this bad the first day. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Hey Glowy Squad, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marissa Dawn and I have lost 120 pounds. My weight loss journey has been documented here on YouTube since the day that I lost weight. And last week I got loose skin removal surgery. I cannot believe that I actually did it. Uh, but this is my journey. Be cautious when watching this. If you don't enjoy hearing about bodily functions, if you don't like seeing surgical incisions, um, people in pain, crying, having a hard time, then this video is not for you. Come back in a few months and check out my everything is great and perfect in like six months video. But this is for everyone who wants to see the raw um, and very transparent and the struggles that I went through. Make sure that you guys are subscribed because I am going to be posting um, every single step of this journey and things do not get better after this video. Things actually take a little, not a huge turn, but it just doesn't get easier. Once the tape comes off, just follow the journey, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way you guys are getting notifications and you're not missing any of the videos. Uh, please comment, it helps the channel, it helps the video, it helps me as a creator. Let me know if you have any questions that I didn't cover in the video or if you plan on getting this surgery or if you've had the surgery, recommendation, tips, all that stuff. Okay, that's enough talking. Enjoy the video. So use these legs, okay? Slow deep breath, slow motion. And when you stand up, you can stand hunch over, okay? Open the mind screen. You gotta see where you're going, right? Wheelchair out of the way. Just hold on to Sabella right here just in case he hit the brake. You're going to need to eat, she says, okay? I need pain for the sun. But you need to eat first, because if not, you're going to throw up. Did they tell you how much they removed? How much it weighed? bump here okay turn right into the parking lot
long time. I'm high. I feel high. Yeah? And the pain in the car was so bad. When I woke up, mm -hmm. I started crying. Because my incision was like on fire. Like I just had, it just was stingy. I went in, I walked into the room and they laid me on a table like Jesus with my arms stretched out. <laughs> They strapped him down, and the anesthesiologist did this, the IV right here. Uh -huh. And he was like, okay, we're going to give you some oxygen, and I'm going to put the medicine in that's going to make you go to sleep. I want you to think about happy thoughts, happy dreams. And I was like... I didn't think about what to think about when they were putting me under, so I started freaking out. And I'm all, what if I have nightmares? Or what if, like, I start thinking bad? Mm -hmm. So I just started thinking about your name over and over. Really? <laughs> Why are you crying, baby? Because I didn't know it was going to be this bad the first day. When I was saying that stuff, and I love you. And I think that what's made this like multiplied even worse is my period. Yeah. Like really. I can feel big blood clots coming out of my vagina as I'm talking right now. Mm -mm. Yeah. I got you. I'll clean you up, baby. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'd freak out. Thumbs up for the people. I highly suggest getting a walker. Thank you, Dad. In three, two, what? We're live. He put his sunglasses on just for this video. No, I put my sunglasses on because I didn't get any sleep last night. We're like waking up every two hours. I have bags. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired too. Um, so we just finished my doctor's appointment. <clears throat> I went in, they took my faha off. And they took the binder off. And by watching previous videos, I know that some people pass out when they take the faha and the binder off for the first time. Because it's like, you're so tight and then it releases the pressure and the blood just kind of like starts flowing. And so that's why people pass out. I didn't pass out, I felt fine. So she lifted up the gown and looked at me and she was like, wow, you look tiny. And I'm like, I'm wondering, like, they probably tell everybody that. No, I saw the picture. You looked really small. <laughs> so, really, really good. I'm super swollen, though, which is normal. And I'm going to be swollen for six to eight months. But the swelling will only get better from here. I spit in that earlier. <sighs> You're fucking kidding me. You're lying. No, I'm not. I can't even laugh right now. Because I'm gonna hurt my stomach. He spit in my freaking Baby, drink. Baby, I had it was in my throat and I and it came up and I wasn't gonna swallow it because it takes forever to get them up. So from the tube during the anesthesia, they put the tube and then afterwards, like you need to, like you have phlegm and you can't cough, so you're just going. <clears throat> I'm inside of you now. How does it feel? Um, so anyways, then the, uh, she said that everything looked good. She talked me through like the drains and how to take care of them, which I need to talk Julio through. And then the doctor came in, looked at me and looked at my belly button. And he was like, wow, your belly button looks fantastic. Looks good. So perfect circle. Yeah. Um, and then he told me that they took off 
3.14 3 pounds 14 ounces of skin which is two ounces shy of four pounds so basically they took four pounds of skin off of me if you didn't notice i had i wore my uh plumber shirt yesterday while i was changing out your drains <laughs> do not make me laugh right now i'm certified Just finished taking a shower. <clears throat> Julio had to help me take a shower. Not wearing the binder just feels wrong. I actually feel better wearing the binder. I feel like more secure. I'm nervous about everything. Like I don't want to get an infection, obviously. Um, the girl that I found to do the massage, she is licensed. So that makes me feel better. But I'm also just nervous about like getting on and off of the bed and it being painful and the massage itself being painful. And I don't want her to touch my belly button or my incision. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll be feeling better, even better than I am today. I did get the Experil shot, which is a shot that they um, put in your abdomen while you're actually in surgery. It's like a stronger version of lidocaine, but it lasts for like three days, 72 hours. So I'm really happy that I got that and I cannot even imagine not getting that. So if you're getting this surgery, I would highly recommend getting that. It costs like $600 more, but totally worth it. So I've been eating a lot of very like plain foods. So I've been eating eggs, I've been eating oatmeal, I've been eating my um, protein shakes, the Ensure protein shakes, two of those a day to make sure I'm getting plenty of protein in. Um, I've had some chicken breast because you don't want to be eating a lot of sodium. It's just going to make you more bloated than you already are. And yeah, as far as the restroom side of things, so I'm on day two of surgery right now. I still have not used um, the restroom restroom as in number two but I'm not going to try and force myself to go to the bathroom. I have been taking Colace, three pills a day of that, but it's totally normal after being on anesthesia to not go to the bathroom up to like five days after. So I'm not trying to rush it. I'm just taking stool softeners and listening to my body heading to the massage. So I will show you guys clips of that. Save 
most dangerous creature known to man. Don't make me laugh. Okay, I'm gonna pee. All right, go for it. Let her rip. Okay, guys, as you can see, she's gently gonna sit on the toilet. Stop. Spreading each. My faha lips. <laughs> yeah, I peed on this faha. The first day was so bad. Get a little urinal thing, cause you're gonna need it. Okay, pause it so I can pee. Mm -hmm. It's, this is for behind the scenes. It goes into my personal file. Maybe. I'm going to pee myself. <laughs> As promised, no! guys, we're catching everything on this vlog. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, babe. Go away. They're all twisted. So right now what he's doing is he's... I guess flushing the lines. Mm -hmm. So he's pinching with his top hand, pinching and pulling with the bottom hand. We have Neosporin to lube up the line. And he's just pushing all of the fluid down. So he pinches with his top top finger and then pulls down and then lets go of the top and it suctions down. So he's just pushing it down into the bulbs. And I am holding, oh, that was a lot. I'm holding it right here because this is literally sewn into my crotch. And you feel it when I yeah. when I do this motion right here and then release that, yeah. mm -hmm. you feel the fluids coming from your Yeah, so when he does, don't pull on it because I'm gonna let go. So when he does that and the fluid comes out, I feel it like up here, like Sucking it's weird, out. yeah. And it took him a little bit to learn to be gentle with these, but... Yeah, I'm like a bull in a china shop. I'm just yeah. breaking um, and wrecking everything. So it just took me a while. It took me a little bit of patience. Yeah. But you're like a delicate flower and a newborn baby. Uh, you're so cute. Mm -hmm. And I am having to, so next we'll show you, we're going to dump these out and uh, we have to keep track of how much fluid is in them. Um, I don't know if people are going to be grossed out seeing this, mm. but it's like Kool-Aid. So you can see this one is about, it's less than 25. About 15. Yeah, I guess so. 15. And pHs. Miles per hour. Just... <laughs> You're so handsome. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Honestly, I don't think it looks very different from the day after. I wish we would have gotten a video like this the, like, the day of surgery. Yeah, we didn't. But I was <sighs> your dying. Be your belly button is, has a bruise right there. So it goes from here. I think the incision is nice and thin, so that's exciting. I'm numb, like I'm touching myself right here and I don't, I don't feel it at all. Um, all the way to over here. And then the drains, I'm not gonna show you, but the drains are, I have one drain coming out right here on my pubic area and one right here. I'm really happy with my belly button. And the bruises that you got. Oh yeah, I have a big bruise on my pubic area over here where the drain is. And I don't have a bruise on this side. Um, and then on my sides, like on my back, I have bruising, right mm -hmm. baby? I'm feeling a lot better. I've stopped taking my pain medication. I'll probably take something tonight just so that way I can sleep because I'm having a hard time sleeping in this. My lower back is killer. So I wanted to do a quick update for you guys. Um, so I know that we, honestly, I don't even know what we've been filming. I know on day one, we got a lot of me just being like out of it, but day one was definitely the worst. Day one, it was really, I feel like I slept a lot on day one. Day two, I was walking more. Um, I was eating mainly eggs, oatmeal, and chicken breast and protein shakes. You have to eat before you take your medication because you can get nauseous and nobody's trying to throw up after having muscle repair. Uh, and then day three, I was up and walking even more. But today I did like 
a lot of walking, 15 minutes of walking. I've been staying hydrated. I've been drinking at least 10 to 15 ounces of water every hour. Like we have been on top of that. I've been drinking my Juven wound care, which helps um, your helps wounds heal faster. And I really think that that has been helpful for me. The shower is like really tricky because when I have the binder off, I just feel so vulnerable. Like my abdomen is gonna like give in any minute. Um, like 10 minutes into not having my binder, I'm like shaking. Like my core is just like quivering. And I get like very tired very easily without that on. Um, I wish that we had like a lanyard or something to hook the drains on while I'm showering because I hold them and Julio like cleans me and then Julio holds them and I clean my actual wounds just because I feel so like I don't want anyone touching my wounds because they can't feel what I'm feeling so I want to be the one to clean them um, but as far as pain the first two hours were the worst after that it has been totally manageable there have been times where I'm like really in pain or I'm more so just really weak and I need you to help me like get up and get down and I've been sleeping in the recliner and my lower back has been killing me but Julio's been massaging it with this thingy which feels amazing when he does it but Julio got some me time today and he went to the gym which I'm happy that you got to do that because you've been like so attentive and waking up like I feel so bad guys because I didn't think that I was gonna be this needy <laughs> well I should have known better because I'm needy <laughs> yeah. it's like a newborn baby you know and cries what are you gonna do you're gonna attend to it you need help off the couch off into the toilet you need your meds gotta take you a shower yeah keep like up he with, has been bathing me keep up with everything so yeah yeah, so definitely, like, the first week of this surgery, you are not going to be doing anything. Um, even the first day, Julio had to help me get on and off of the toilet, which was my biggest nightmare. Like, I was, did not want that to happen, but in the moment, I was just helpless. I was like, you have to help me. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not. What about the drains? Like, was that more intense than you thought it was going to be? I think it's anything. Um, but the doctor told me to expect to have the drains in for 10 to 14 days. So that's what I am. That's what I have in my head. Hello. You're awake. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Give a shout out to Julio for being so amazing and taking care of me. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and always remember you hold the power in your hands to make any changes in your life that you want to make. Bye guys. Why are you crying? Because I'm just really bloated and in pain right it's now. It's okay, baby.